Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Thank you so much for taking the time to come over here and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz and I reckon it's Sunday, so <laughs> it's been a minute y'all. It's time for another Sunday cook and I want to apologize to you. I've, I've been off here for at least a month, I think. And uh, guys, I just got caught up in a bunch of stuff that I need to take care of at home. And then actually y'all, I got sick and uh, I had to be hospitalized. I had congestive heart failure again, but uh, I'm doing fine now, guys. And what it was, it was uh, my Lasix. My meds weren't working correctly, and I was getting like uh, a lot of water on my chest. Actually, I had like over four pounds of water on my chest, and uh, they really dosed me in the hospital. And once I got rid of that, man, I could breathe. I felt like a thousand dollars, man. And uh, basically, they got my meds readjusted, and I'm here to tell you this is the best I felt in, in God knows how long. I'm here to tell you, and, and I'm religiously taking my medicine. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I'm, I want to say thank you for those that uh, actually uh, tried to contact me that actually knew about it from Facebook and stuff. And uh, I can't thank you all enough. The well wishes and, and all mean it just meant the world to me. And you don't know how it made me feel. And I just wanted to say thank you so very, very much. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, for our Sunday recipe here, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, my little brother called me uh, the other day, and uh, we were talking, and he knows I love my favorite chicken sandwich in the world is the chicken chicken fillet sandwich, man. I, I could eat like five of them. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, he said he found a recipe for the chicken fillet uh, 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 breading or whatever, and or you know for the chicken fillet sandwich itself. And I got to thinking, man, uh, I got I, I got on YouTube and I looked around, and there were there were plenty of people on there posting the you know the chicken breast sandwiches and all that stuff with the chicken fillet, but uh, I didn't see any chicken wings. So I'm wondering if we can actually do some chicken wings, uh, chicken fillet style. And what I really need is uh, basically the main ingredients. I believe is like you have to like brine it for a few hours in in uh, pickle juice. I'm gonna get some dill pickle juice or dill pickles, and I'll use the juice out of that. And uh, believe it or not, man, confection sugar, confectionery sugars in it. But uh, all right, guys, I just wanted to give you a, a heads up of what's been going on with me. I'm gonna try to do my Sunday cooks from, you know, from time to time. Uh, I might not do them every Sunday, guys. Like I said, I, uh, I've got some priorities I need to take care of, and uh, that 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 comes first. My my family and and all comes first. So. Uh, all right, guys, let me get a parking spot here, and we'll see you in just a bit. Thanks so much. All right, guys, we are ready to get started. We're done over at the Meyer. We got some chicken wings, so we can make our chicken fillet uh, chicken wings, if you will. Uh, while I was there, guys, I picked up Mom a little carrot cake. She loves the uh, carrot cake. And uh, they actually have, like, a cake of the month over there all the time. And uh, usually, like, once a month, I'll get it. And... Every time, every one of them I've got have been actually delicious. But uh, anyway, guys, I grabbed some uh, Meyer Kosher hamburger dill pickles here and uh, slices, and I went ahead and I put them. I've got like a container I keep my pickles in anyway. One of those where you can pull it up and grab them out without digging through the uh, through the jar. But uh, anyway, guys, let's get started. Let me. Uh, we're going to get everything down into our brining bucket here, and what I'll do is I'll use a quart of that, and then I'll fill it up with water, shake it, and we'll get it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. All right, guys, All right, I'm guys. just going to use ten. Uh, wings to fry up whole wings and I'm gonna save the other 10 back for a recipe that uh, I think is gonna be another wild one so but anyway let's get them on up in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that leaves us with one two three four, five, six, seven. That'll be enough for me and mom. And what I'm gonna do is take my quart of, uh, of uh, hamburger uh, uh, dill slices here, uh, pickle juice, and go ahead and get it on in there. All right, guys. And as you can see, it didn't completely cover it. And I wanna thin it out just a little bit. So what I've got here is I've got some water. I'm gonna just pour right on top of it. Just cover it, just like so. That looks good to me. And what I'll do is I'll get this lid on it and give it a little shaky food. 
All right, guys, we'll get back to you here after it brines for a few hours. Okay, y'all, let's get started with our uh, Chick-fil-A whole fried wings uh, fritz style here. And I'm hoping this thing's gonna be an epic fail, but uh, I'm gonna take one for the team here, guys. And uh, basically what I did was I drained off our wings. I didn't even chop off the tips. I kind of folded them back over on it. I'm sure a lot of y'all know how to do that. And what I did was just simply put them in a colander and letting them drain. I'm not even gonna pat them dry. I'm gonna leave the residual pickle juice up on them. What you're looking at here, guys, is uh, about two and a half uh, uh, cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, you've got, I've got about four eggs here, splash of milk, beat them up real good. And what I thought was, you know, the wild is the spices that we're gonna be adding. And the key one is that powdered sugar, the confectionery sugar. And we've got two tablespoons of it. We've got uh, one uh, heaping teaspoon of pepper, one heaping teaspoon of salt. And guys, I, if you know me, I usually don't cook with salt. I just add it at the table. But if the recipe requires it, I will utilize it. Um, I've got uh, a heaping teaspoon of uh, paprika, heaping teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. And uh, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get this on up into the mix here, like so. And what I'm gonna do is actually just take it Get my lid on it. Make daggone sure your lids are on when you're doing this, guys, or you will have a freaking mess. So all I'm going to do is just merely shake it up. Shake it. Shake it, don't break it. All right, guys, I'll get right back Ready with you. The party started. I went ahead and I, I did one already, but basically all I'm doing, guys, is just taking my chicken wings that we soaked in the pickle juice, folded the, the tip back on itself, and just merely gonna dump it, or drop it here into the uh, egg wash. Get it all egg washed up a bit. And then just take it right over here to our flour and make sure our batter. We just coat that a little bit. Like so. Yeah, I've never heard of frying that like with a uh, uh, confection sugar. I think that's pretty daggone neat. But, all right guys, I got my little rack set up here. Looks pretty easy, y'all. approximately I don't know maybe a quarter of the way up with some peanut oil uh, got it super hot and we've got our wings here ready to go in so we're just gonna do them real slow and like I always tell you guys please be careful when frying and you always want to put the food away from you away from you okay man oh man oh man Doesn't that look turned out beautiful guys I love the coating on it it's sticking to it really nice it almost reminds me it's sort of like a KFC type thing all right guys we got our magnificent Sunday night feast over to the table guys and I love chicken wings period but uh, uh, basically what we did what we did our little chick-fil-a spin on them and look at that man look at the color of them that just amazes me but uh, along with that, mom whipped up. I didn't have to do nothing but cook the wings. 
Mom whipped up some of her famous potato salad, got some dill pickles up in it, and onions and mayo. It's, I'm telling you, it's out of this world good. And what we got here is some pork and beans, uh, some King Hawaiian rolls, and she also whipped up some of this, uh, it's cucumbers with onions. I don't know if any of y'all have ever tried it, but it's got like vinegar. And, uh, it's a sweet and sour. And I'm here to tell you, I love that stuff. It just, it tastes like summer to me. But uh, all right, guys, we got to get after this. All right, guys, we are all plated up. Look at that magnificent plate of deliciousness. And it looks like mom's already digging in over here, so we'll get her a critique of it real quick in just one second. But uh, man, I'm here to tell you, doesn't that look outstanding? All right, guys. All right, mom, go ahead and tell me what you think, if it's close to uh, chick fil or not. Mm, that's really good. It's got a good flavor. Yeah. You don't really taste the pickles, do you? No. Cool. Not at all. All right, guys, my battery's getting ready to die, so if I have to, I'll uh, grab another one. But I'm here to tell you guys, it's still hotter than heck. It's a moist. Oh, my God. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. That's pretty daggone good. Yeah. Nothing to it. Mm. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by and visiting with me. I know it's been a minute, but like I said, I'm going to continue to shoot videos. I don't know if it's going to be like, you know, a weekly thing or not. Plus, it seems like YouTube's all screwed up. Uh, my last video I did where I uh, shot a little video of uh, uh, Daryl, uh, Bad Beast Barbecue, where I was uh, talking about his uh, Bad Beast designs. They took my monetization away like I said something bad on it or something. Mm. Mm. Like I said, I appreciate y'all sticking with me and coming back to visit with me. It means the world to me. And, uh... I reckon we're gonna get after this. It tastes so good, and I'm hoping y'all give it a try. It's so simple, nothing to it. Uh, you really don't taste the pickle juice, and I can't really tell the the sugars in there. It's just it like all marries together. It's it's fantastic. But uh, anyway, guys, just want to say thank you so much, and I reckon we're gonna holler at y'all later. Thank you.